Good morning, everybody. Good morning. From a beautiful day here in Sarajevo. Sarajevo. We have made it to Bosnia. And oh my god, you guys, the journey here was probably one of the worst travel journeys we've ever had. Oh. We took a seven hour. Ruby, get to the side, sweetie. Just come on. Oh, cool! That's so nice! Mosques are literally everywhere around the city. Because this is actually, I'm pretty sure this is a Muslim country. It's a Muslim majority country, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> There's literally one, like, so close to our place. We don't even have to see the time if it's almost time for prayer. There's literally one so close. Yeah. And we can hear the prayer noise. Yes. That's so sweet. She's talking about the call to prayer. It comes on and it's it's so cool to hear that again. It's been a long time. Um, but yeah, so our travel journey here, we took a seven hour bus ride all the way from Belgrade, Serbia to here. And the, the bus ride is supposed to have air conditioning on it, <laughs> but oh my God, there was no air conditioning or it was it was like blowing hot air, if you can believe it. Like, and people were complaining in the, the bus and asking like to turn it up. And this was a full bus and we were sitting all the way in the back, which is where I think some engine part is or something because it made the whole floor very, very hot. There was like a temperature thing in the bus too. And it kept saying that I was like, uh, like 31, 32 degrees Celsius, which is like, <laughs> 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So we were literally in a 100 degree bus with yeah. 40, 50 people for seven hours. The windows don't open. Like I would have not even cared if there was no air conditioning if the windows open so you could get a breeze. There was no breeze, yeah. no window opening. Some of them had curtains, but not ours. <laughs> ours was like the only one that didn't have a curtain to block the sun. But then we finally made it to our Airbnb. I think we got, we got there late at night too, so we we were so excited to get there because <laughs> yes. we were looking forward to like uh, just sitting in like air conditioning, air conditioning. and uh, <laughs> like eating some good food yeah. and, and like watching the TV. <laughs> and all that was ruined. The AC, literally, I felt like it was a heater. It literally didn't work. But it's okay, we're only there a couple of nights and towards the nighttime, it kind of cooled down a bit. We just opened the windows and, and turned off the air conditioning and it was fine. Enough of the drama, now let's go check out the city. The first thing we're going to do today is go and get breakfast. Oh my gosh, look at the city view over there. Oh my gosh, you guys, this these streets are so steep. I can't keep up with you. No, we're just like falling down. It's all fun and games when we're going downhill, but going uphill, this is gonna kill us. <laughs> it's definitely like Turkey all over again. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not walking up this damn hill. All right, you guys, we came to the most top-rated breakfast spot in Sarajevo, and basically they serve these, this dish called burek, which is a traditional breakfast here. And what it is, is basically layers of filo dough, or just a flaky dough, that's stuffed with either meat, cheese, spinach, or potato. And then they put some yogurt on top. We've got one of each to try. Um, they only take cash here, which I think a lot of the areas here only take cash. So that's it's good to know if you ever come here. Um, but they're really helpful with helping you figure out what to do because we kind of came clueless and we're just like, uh, we don't know what to order or anything, but they helped out a lot. This one, yeah, look at this one. This one's the cheese. Ooh, that looks like it's gonna be good. It's still very hot, so they must have just made it. There you go. Give it a try. Hot. Mm. Tasty? Really hot? <laughs> it looks like a crumbly type of cheese. Maybe like a feta? Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. It's like a crumbly, like, salty mozzarella. 
Mmm, it's like so warm here. Really awesome. yeah. The sandwiches one so good, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna try the meat one already. <laughs> spinach one? Very spinachy. But with, is it with cheese? Alright you guys, this meat one is amazing. Definitely my favorite of them. It is really good, yeah. I don't really like yogurt. Okay, so out of all of them, which one is your favorite? The meat one is so good, right? You gotta try Budak if you come here. So good. But now, look at where we are. We're in like an old town. It's like right in the center. And there are so many people here. But there are also so many shops and cute little trinkets and things that you can get. It's so fun and very lively. It's cool. There's a lot of people here. It looks just yeah, like yeah. Turkey because there are... There's Turkish delights, yes. There's Turkish delights, there's Turkish ice cream. There's so many Turkish things here. And I think there are a lot of Turkish people too. Probably. It's so Goodness. cool. But it, it does feel like a mix between like Turkey and Italy. So in the heart of the old town here is this really cool like uh, what used to be a watering fountain. So people used to come here and get you know their fresh water. It also used to be used for um, Muslims to come and uh, do budu, which is like when they clean themselves before they pray. So this had, it's like a historical uh, monument now because it was destroyed and then rebuilt and destroyed and then rebuilt. <clears throat> but now it is basically just like a uh, really cool like statement piece for Sarajevo, Sarajevo as a whole. And there's a lot of pigeons here as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. And there's like a shop by the pigeons where you can get pigeon food, which is really cool. We actually might do that. Yeah? You want to do that? Let's yeah. go do it. Someone's getting cooked off. Hey, Nicho. One eternity later. <laughs> Got a little baseball cap for you. And this says girl power. A lot of you may not have heard of Bosnia and Herzegovina at all, but there's an important, important piece of history that happened here in Sarajevo, right where we're standing right now. So this bridge right here is called the Latin Bridge. This country was controlled by the Austro-Hungarian. Basically the president was Franz Ferdinand, he was the ambassador, and um, he was driving in his car along this bridge here. And this fellow by the name of Gavrilo Princip um, decided to to take him away, if you catch my drift. So he assassinated that man, and now this bridge is super famous because that is basically what sparked World War One. So World War One started right over there. Right here. Oh yeah, this is where. Hold on, hold on. Nope, I feel weird. Literally, World War One started right here in this very spot. I had no idea. I had no idea yeah, like no, Bosnia no had so much like historical significance in the world like that. There was a huge genocide that happened at one point um, where between Serbia and Bosnia. But it was like Croatian Bosnian and then like Serbian Bosnian. And they were basically just like fighting. Yeah, it was like a form of ethnic cleansing because they were trying to get rid of the, m the yeah, Muslim people. It was basically yeah, focused towards the uh, the Muslim population. It was this. It was the uh, mm -hmm. second largest genocide in all of Europe too, and nobody knows about it. This looks so muddy. Look at that color. It's like orange. It is, it's like orange. So apparently um, that feller uh, assassinated his wife as well. They have a monument here to, uh, I guess, remember them? It looks very orangish, right? Yeah, orange is pink. Yeah, it's 
because of what happened on the bridge. Jump in right now. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Ruby does too. Okay, you guys, so we made it to the Ghazi something mosque, <laughs> <laughs> but it's the largest mosque in the entire country and it was built in the 1500s. It's like the, the Grand Bazaar <laughs> in Bosnia. Oh, cool. You guys, they have chess here and they're actually playing it. I've never seen somebody actually play this game of chess. All right, come to a traditional Bosnian lunch restaurant in Rigane. Try to get some food. It's like buffet style, so maybe difficult. 20 mark. Your mixed plate of sarma. Um, dolma. Yes. Dolma? That's dolma. And then this? Dolma. This is Sarma. Yes, Okay, great. They don't take card here. They only took cash. And we only had 20 mark left. So I kind of told them to just like give us a mix of whatever you got for 20 mark, which is like about 10 US dollars. And this is what we've got a plate full of Sarma and Dolma. And basically what it is, is it's stuffed either vegetables or cabbage um, with meat, I think, and rice, right? And then it's got like this tomato sauce on it. This one is actually stuffed tomato. Looks so good. And then he gave us some bread with it as well. So yeah, let's dive in. I'm gonna try this one. This one it's like a cabbage roll and you put like extra juice on top, which is really great because sometimes you get like stuffed cabbages and they're like very dry, but like that's the first bite. Mmm. Oh man. It's so good. It's like salty, like perfectly salted. Try it really. And then literally every bit just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> that one is zucchini, so it's like a squash roll. I don't think it's zucchini, but I think it's like a squash. You should try the onion one. This? Yeah. I think that one is the sarma. Or the, yeah, dorma. I don't know which one it is. Very, very oniony. Very oniony? Yeah. But the sour. It tastes really good though. Yeah. yeah. It does taste good. As the squash one. Do you think the insides taste the same? A little bit, yeah. But it's nice that you have different vegetables. It tastes really good. Yum. I don't really like squash that much either, yeah. but it tastes good. We have a traditional food just like this. Um, that's an Araki cuisine and it's called medfuna, which basically means stuffed. And it's just a bunch of mixed vegetables that are stuffed with meat and rice and it's it's super similar which is cool it's bringing me all back to my mom's cooking and of course they give you this lovely bread oh my god it is so good and so like chewy on the inside and fresh it's perfect for soaking up all those juices right you're liking it ruby loves the bread <laughs> I don't know how they make it, but it's so good. It's so good, yeah. I wonder if they use yogurt in it. It's only salt, flour, and water. Salt, flour, and water. Oh! It's so simple. It tastes so good. Also, the people here have been so friendly and helpful. We really don't know too many words in Bosnian. So, it's the, we were worried that was going to be a problem, but it hasn't been at all. The people have been so helpful and kind and very friendly. Yeah, I agree. That tastes like Arabic food. Yeah, like Bibi's food? That's what I said. That's what I said the first time. Bibi's food. Bibi's food? Hello. Hello. What's that one? The blue one. Alright, and dinner day in Sarajevo with some ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Ruby got a yummy flavor this time. Well, careful, there's a bug. It's gummy. Let me get it. Oh, there's a bug on it. <laughs> She's too smart now. She knows your tricks. Careful, there's a hole. <laughs> gummy bear. It's gummy bear flavored. Does it taste like gummy bears? Yep. Yum. It tastes like blueberry gummy bears. <laughs> oh, I missed. Mama's gonna get you. No. He's gonna get a bite. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> Just watch where you're going. <laughs> it became serious. Put ice cream on his back. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that concludes our day in Sarajevo. It does. We are actually going to go back to our place and climb that big hill because we're only 19 minutes away and we don't want to get a taxi because it's 19 minutes of a walk and we need to work off the food. The city has actually surprised us a lot. It's been one of the busiest cities we've been in in Eastern Europe. For sure. And there's so much to do. There's like a lot here. And you can really see the blend of the cultures here where it's like Turkish, Italian, Hungarian, I don't know, like all the different places like meshing in one. Like there's right. a lot of diversity here. It's, it's really a lot of mix of religion too. Oh yeah. It's like Jewish, Christian, Orthodox, Muslim. Yeah, you can see so cool. yeah, there's like a synagogue, a church, a mosque on like the, the same, same street, street yeah. which is so cool. So that's a pleasant surprise. It does have a dark history here, but dark, yeah. you can tell that they are going strong and they're not gonna let their past take over them or which is good. Yeah. We have some more adventures left in Bosnia. All right, so this is where we're gonna leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.